Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video I'm talking about Cydia Extender, uh, what it is and why Jay Freeman has just released it. So uh, first of all, you can see this tweet here by Jay Freeman, he says Cydia Impactor 0.9.39 fixes the SSL certificate verification error. Uh, it also includes Cydia Extender. Now a lot of people were wondering what this is, what it does, and uh, a lot of people thought it does something more than it actually does. Now this is uh, an application that basically acts as Cydia Impactor but runs on the iOS device itself. So a lot of people were talking about this a few months ago saying uh, why can't we just have a device or an application that runs this, um, that signs an application and installs it on the device to prevent us from needing to use a computer every seven days. Um, and this is basically what it is but it does not work for free developer accounts. So this is basically just a way, uh, an easier way of using um, your paid developer account to sign the Yalu app or any other app that you want um, for a whole year without having it revoked every seven days. Now it does not allow um, a user with a free developer account to sign the Yalu app for longer than seven days. So um, a lot of people did think it was that but he did state that it wasn't. He said it was not what people thought. As you can see here City Extender is not what many are assuming and it does require a paid developer account which he failed to notice. So if we go on to cityimpactor.com, you can see you can download the latest version. So you can just click on OS X and once you've got it installed and open it up and connect your device to the computer, just open this. You can see now we have a new option, install Cydia Extender in this little drop down. So to do this, you would need to obviously connect your device, select this option, click on start and then fill out your Apple ID details for your paid developer account. Now I'll show you what happens if you don't use a paid developer account. This is a free developer account I'm going to use. You can see here it's going to try to install it but you get this error. Network extensions is a feature only available to enrolled users in the developer program. So to be able to use this you need to have a paid developer account. It will cost you $99 a year or £60 a year depending on which country you're from. Um, and this will allow you to sign applications for a whole year and without having to reinstall them every seven days. So that's what this application is for. It's for being able to do it on your device so that you won't have to actually use a computer. And it basically, it's not only for Yalu, it's actually for any IPA. So you can use this to, for piracy if you really wanted to. You can download things from Safari on your device and then import them into this um, Cydia uh, extender application. And it'll allow you to sign them on the device itself and then um, install them. So in a way this is an alternative to services such as IPA store uh, or build store, things I've covered in different videos in the past. These services require you to pay um, about 5 to $10 for them to give you access to basically what this app is doing. So in all fairness, those are better options if you want, if you're talking about money because they only cost you 5 to $10, this will cost you $99 for a year. But um, yeah, so this is not as exciting as a lot of people were making out. Um, it does not solve the seven-day sign-in issue for people who have free developer accounts. So I just made this video to clear that up, basically. But um, yeah, so I'll leave a link to cityimpactor.com in the description if you want to go and do this. If you do have a paid developer account, this is now how you can sign your Yalu app for a whole year. If not, then you could still have to wait for a new solution, which hopefully will come in the near future. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.